Your data, our democracy. The last time you voted, how did you choose whom to vote for? Elections allow us to make sure our values are represented, so it's important that our votes are free from influence. How could voters be swayed, and who wants to influence them? Political campaigns today market candidates to us by tapping into data about us. Data that we share online. Basic things like our age and location. But more personal things too, like what we search for online. What we watch. Where we go. And what emails we open. These profiles are unique to each of us and they can reveal personal details about our hobbies, our future plans, our values, our concerns, and even our political leanings. Automated processes use our digital footprints to sort, rank, and categorize us voters to help campaigns feed us personalized communications through a process called micro-targeting. Because your digital footprint is unique, the political communications you see online could be totally different from those of your neighbours or family members. Political campaigns say the more they know about us, even on an emotional level, the better they can understand our needs. For example, starting in 2017 in the Netherlands, two Dutch political parties worked with a company that claims they can measure how people feel and think. The company quantified Dutch voters on a number of emotions, like how excited, angry and fearful they were. The company did this by using cookies and similar tracking technologies that can detect our online browsing habits over days, weeks and months to build profiles about interests and preferences. Many European companies like the ones shown here are doing business with political campaigns. This large network of companies and political services is what we call the influence industry. Political campaigns across Europe are becoming more data-driven and our personal data often shapes the TV ads, phone calls and even the physical mail we receive. This influence industry uses a large collection of technologies to achieve its goals. The EU has passed laws to help protect citizens from having their data exploited, but we still often consent to sharing our personal data without knowing exactly where it goes or how it's used. If everyone sees different political ads, do you think fair democratic participation is still possible? Do you know how many companies involved in your next election are using personal data for political purposes? Do you know who owns these companies and what their agendas are? To learn more about how your personal data is used in elections, including some steps you can exercise over your digital privacy, security and well-being, visit our website, datadetoxkit.org.